Critical reading as a form of reasoning. Is it the same as plain reading? Coming up. Hi, dear learners. This is Renat. Welcome back to our reading and writing class. Why is it important to be a critical reader? Does it mean that when you read a lot of books or any reading materials that you can be called a critical reader? Our topic today is the overview of what critical reading is as it is needed for our future topics. We talked about how a text is interconnected to another text under the intertext and hypertext lessons and evaluating different texts based from the context is critical. Our lesson objectives are the following. At the end of our lesson, you are expected to explain the importance of critical reading, differentiate reading and critical reading, and find out the different critical reading strategies. Have you received this kind of email or text? What was your initial reaction? Did you believe it right away? Or too good to be true? The way you react to this kind of information is a test how good you are in evaluating whether it is true or not. Do you agree or disagree with the author when you read? Are you an active reader? As a reader, you are not a passive participant but an active constructor of meaning. You might say, hmm, I'm a bookworm. I read a lot. Definitely, I consider myself a critical reader. Really? You may know that to be a critical of someone or something is to disapprove it or to have negative response to that person or thing. For example, some people are critical of the government's distribution of vaccine. To be critical can mean very important. You say the information drive about the different kinds of vaccine is critical to the people. Critical may also mean very serious. You say the flooding situation in some areas has reached a critical point or if a patient in a hospital is in critical condition then things are not looking good for that person for example my grandfather is in critical condition right now okay these are all useful meanings of the word critical but what do you do when you do a movie critique after watching the movie you comment on the acting, the plot, soundtrack, and others. Your report might be negative or positive. You are expressing a judgment about the quality of the movie objectively. When you read too good to be true information, you need to analyze, interpret, and evaluate. That is critical reading. When we read critically, we use our critical thinking skills to question both the text and our own reading of it. Let's dig deeper and differentiate the difference between reading or the plain reading and critical reading. Look at their difference. The purpose of plain reading is to get the basic grasp of the text while critical reading is how you form judgments about how a text works. In plain reading, you are only absorbing or understanding, just like reading a novel. But critical reading is analyzing, interpreting, and evaluating. Try to look at the questions. You are asking about the how-to questions, the assumptions, the evidences. These are our next lessons as we will be discussing on assumptions, even assertions and evaluative statements. And you are against the text rather than with the text. And remember, the response, critical reading is more of describing, interpreting and evaluating how the text works rather than just a simple summary all right let's try one example nowadays people imagine of traveling to another planet we knew about the history of the first moon landing try to read this text i know this information is not new to you you may stop this video if you want to read this after reading the text you may ask common wh questions like who first walked on the moon what were the first words spoken on the moon? When was the first moon landing? And where did the astronauts come from? 
you read this and if you trust the author, you accept it. Your goal is to learn the facts, not to question them. However, as you learn more, you might learn that not everyone accepts the moon landing as the truth. Some people believe it never happened that it was filmed on a movie set or in the desert of Western USA. You may ask, what evidence do they put forward to support the claim? That's the time you cite points. Now, you are not just finding facts, but you are trying to evaluate, judging the validity of the facts. Another example, we have Mars landing. The NASA has just announced it. People believe it because the news came from NASA, a very reliable space agency. And days ago, NASA has still to provide update on perseverance firsts since Mars landing. But some people say, hmm, that's impossible. We need to confirm it from other space agency if it's really true. That's critical reading. When you do critical reading, here are seven critical reading strategies that are helpful to you. The first one is reviewing. Learn about a text before really reading it. It's just a movie trailer. Skim to get an overview of the context and organization. The second is contextualizing. You read it through the lens of your own experience. And the third is questioning to understand. And remember, you need to question about the content. Each question should focus on main idea and it should be expressed in your own words. The fourth is reflecting on challenges to your beliefs and values. How do you examine based on your personal response? And next is outlining and summarizing. You should identify the main ideas and restate them in your own words. The second to the last is evaluating an argument. You should not accept anything on face value, but to recognize assertion as an argument and must be carefully evaluated. And the last one is comparing and contrasting related reading. You need to explore likenesses and differences between texts to understand them better. The following are your guide questions in critical reading and critical evaluation points. Here are the questions. For our next lesson, we will talk about the types of assertions. Now, are you ready to brush up your reasoning power? More on that in my next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have questions, please comment below. Happy learning! See you!